Well, welcome back for the final time to the Marshall Arena in Milton Keynes on day three of Q School, where we've just seen it come to an end with a win for Jake Jones. The 27-year-old scaffolder from Stoke has come through in the final to beat Gigi Mathers, uh, Glenn Gordon Mathers from Australia, and earn himself a spot on the PDC Tour for the first time in his career. Let's show you how he did it, because it was a close one. Went all the way to a last leg decider, 72 checkout, one dart at tops with Mathers sat on 48 to win the card himself. And there it is. Big, big moment for this man. Jake, congratulations. Tour card holder in the PDC. What's that feel like? It just puts all all the practice and all the, the hard work into perspective, really. It's it's a dream come true for myself. It's It really is. It has been a real battle for you today. A lot of close games, a lot of matches where it looks like you might be ending your campaign that day and, and right that went right down to the wire there yeah um, all I thought before coming here qualify for the last four days and it just takes one good day it's um, I've played so well in practice games online to get to this point I've played numerous amount of years and um, like yesterday was probably the better day than today um, I was I had 99 yesterday 93 94 91 today I've scraped through with the 82 one round. I've won four games, six five today. I think it's, but it's a roller coaster to be honest. I just, it's one of them. It's a dream come true, like I said before. It's uh, it's quite remarkable for myself. Well, look, I think anybody watching might be able to tell you're from Stoke. Yeah. Uh, tell us about you. you went back go about what sort of ten years. You were a really impressive youth player, winning big titles in the WDF system. You came over and had some success on the development tour a few years back in the PDC. But who are you? What can we expect from you? Well, I'm just a normal lad, to be honest. When I was younger, I, I was a lot of people said it was quite promising I was playing and stuff, and I was world number, well, not world number one, England number one for three years. When I was 14 to 17, I was playing for England, Europe Cups, World Cups, and I decided to just settle down a bit. Darts, now it feels like it's everything, but at the time I thought, I want to start a family. I want to... I want to have children young and I thought I've got the rest of my life ahead of me to play darts and now my kids are growing up, I've got a little girl who's five, twin boys who are three next week and it's just, it's, it is, it's amazing, it's just ridiculous, I can't really put it into words, I am really, really, really shocked but... What did you feel like in that last leg when you've got that one dart at tops to win it knowing that Gordon was right behind you and, and if he didn't win that leg it leaves it all on that final day tomorrow. Of course, yeah. I felt, to be honest, my most difficult game I'd say was the quarterfinals. Um, I really wanted to get to six points, and I thought, if I get to six points, I'm in for a really good shot tomorrow. I, I can take it a bit easier. I can take my foot off the gas a little, because it's been a like it's been a long six days. Q school this year has been obviously they've had the three days in the one A, but going back to the game, I know Gordon. I'll, Gordon can play. I've I've played him, I think, twice or three times online, and he's he's a remarkable player. He's come all the way from Australia, and I wish him the best for the rest of the rest of the tournament tomorrow. That time we had uh, some more darts players from Stoke coming through the ranks, and it's all sort of dropped off a little bit for the Stokies. It has, yeah. To be honest, it, Ian White's a remarkable player. Andy Hamilton's getting back to his best. Um, Adrian Lewis seems to be playing ridiculously well, but not getting the rub of the green and. Unlike me today, I've I've had I've had the luck. I've I've won a lot of bullseyes, so I've had the throw in the last leg deciders. But um, yeah, it's just not. It's really is nice to come through. I put a lot of effort into this tournament. So well, just finally, Jay. I mean, you're a scaffolder by trade nowadays. You're now a professional darts player. Yeah. Your your next couple of years, just on that one dart, a double top. It's changed like that, hasn't it? There's a lot of lot of thinking, lot of planning you've yeah. got to do now. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's obviously I'm. I'm going to keep my job. I'll, to be honest, I do love my job, but I feel like it's it's time now to just play darts like I can. I know I feel like if me if me doubles go in, me scoring I know is I can play with with the best, and we'll just see in the next coming years see how we do. Well, look, congratulations! Thank you you work this much. last few days. It's got you an opportunity. You are a PDC professional darts player for the first time. Thank you very much, matey. Thank you. Good stuff. 
And this was just a few moments afterwards. Congratulations on FaceTime or whatever app it is from the world match play champion, Dimitri Vandenberg. Like saying that he actually was playing against GG Mathers online during lockdown. He's playing against Dimmy as well, and Dimmy was stuck at Peter Wright's house. But congratulations to Jake Jones. He did not do this the easy way. This is the route. Uh, started off with that 6-5 win against Eddie Lovely. Uh, that was his highest average of the day. Everything else in the sort of 80s until the final, uh, where he had a big, big lead against Mathers. Uh, only to see him come right back and level the match and then just close it out with that crucial 72 checkout. And if it weren't for that finish, as he said in that interview there, it would have all gone down to the final day and would have gone very, very tense. Speaking of tense, we've had a tense one over in Niedenhausen. The action finished a little bit earlier there. Um, we saw Florian Hempel, the former handball player from Germany, win the tour card on day three. Now, Florian, he doesn't speak particularly good English, so he's done his interview in German. If you want to find that, you can do so through the PDC Europe social media accounts. But our man over in Niedenhausen, uh, Phil Brzezinski, did speak to him, uh, and he's just sent us a little video, just sort of giving us a, a rundown of what Florian had to say after becoming a tour card holder for the first time. Hi Dan, hello from Niedernhausen where 20 to 30 minutes ago the third day of the final stage ended and the third tour card that we awarded is going to Germany. Florian Hempel defeated Luke Peters in the final by 6 to 2, average of 94 and Hempel had an absolutely stunning day today, had an all-round average of round about 95, defeated Martin Schindler along the way, defeated uh, Greek John Michael with a ton plus average in the semi final, so he was really on a roll. And I've just been talking to him in an interview. Unfortunately, his English is not too good. This is why we only did it in German. But of course, he was absolutely over the moon with his performance. And he said he felt great the whole day. He felt in every match that he played that he was a little bit better than his opponent. Didn't worry too much about only having. Uh, having secured one point up to this stage and just said I was just trying to play darts really just trying to play my best darts and he certainly did that and I asked him how are you going to celebrate this you know it's difficult times it's weird times it was still corona times going on normally you would invite a couple of friends and celebrate winning your tour card and he said I'm with 128 friends here in the bubble so he is going to have a great night tonight this is it from Niedernhausen for today we can't wait for the final day tomorrow Thank you very much, Phil. So, Gert de Vos on day one over in Germany. Gert Nenches on day two. And now Florian Hempel, a Belgian, a Dutchman, and now a German, winning their tour cards outright. But it means it goes down to the final day for a number of big names, with only eight places available on the order of merit uh, to win it over the course of the four days on points. If you don't win one outright, then it's going to be a little bit nervy going into that final day. We do have the EU Q School Order of Merit to show you ahead of the final day. Now, you can see Martin Schindler, who's played spectacular stuff over the first three days. He leads it with Zoran Lurchbacker, only one leg behind. Now, they're looking good, but it is not insurmountable for them to be overtaken. Boris Koltsov just behind, and then it gets really, really interesting. John Michael, with a deep run today, is level with Raymond van Barneveld in terms of points. There is only one point between those two, and then Luke Peters, who's played some really good stuff, made the final today, Neil Zonnevel, the man who's been on the tour for the last couple of years, and Lorenzo Pronk, who keeps pronking his way into the latter stages of uh, EU Q School. After that, Kevin Dirtz, very talented player, Richard Veinstra, one of the big names, Mario van der Verharde, Jose Justicia, who's been on the tour, Michael Unterbuchner, who you might have seen at the Grand Slam in years gone by, producing some very good stuff, and Benita van der Pass, who's a man who's won a number of PDC titles, Adam Gavlas, this incredible young prospect from the Czech Republic, uh, Rusty Jake Rodriguez from Austria. There are so many players there who could pick up points on the final day and knock down some of those big names, including Raymond van Barneveld. He's going to go down to the wire for the five-time world champion to see if he can make a successful return to the PDC Tour. But one name you do not see there is Florian Hempel. The man from Cologne steps up to the PDC circuit for the first time in his career. Well, here in the Marshall Arena in Milton Keynes, it is Jake Jones, a, prod a prodigy, really, as a, a youth, a great talent as a, a teenager, but now stepping up as an adult and earning his place on the PDC Tour. Day three has seen JJ beat Gigi to get on the PDC. We'll see you tomorrow for the final day.